Welcome back guys, this is Lindsay with Garage Gym Reviews. Today we're gonna look at the Nordic Wave cold tub behind me. Now, I never thought I would say the sentence, I have preferences on how like a cold tub operates. I have preferences on how I get into freezing cold water, but here we are. I actually really like this Nordic Wave. I think it's probably one of my favorite vertical cold tubs out there right now. And we're gonna talk about all the specifics of that. But first, make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you can continue to see videos just like this one. And also, if you wanna go ahead and purchase this, we've made it super easy, place a link below the like button. When you use that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give us a small commission. And lastly, this was sent to us by the company, but I'm always honest in my reviews. You've probably seen that if you've seen any of my other reviews. So let's get into it. Now, if you go to the Nordic Wave website, one thing I really appreciate is they actually have some breathing guides. Now, I wish that I would have found that. I wish that I would have had that the first time I tested a cold tub because honestly, I was not prepared. Like I lasted maybe 10 seconds and then wanted to cry, feeling like these freezing water was just like taking my breath away. I would have loved some sort of like guided breathing work. So if you go to their website, they have an app that you can go ahead and download, work on your breath work to prepare you for something like optimizing your cold tub sessions. I am happy to say, now I am no like cold tub expert, but I am gonna like flex on myself a little bit. I stayed in this cold tub, it was set to 47 degrees and I stayed in it the entire Sleep Token, the summoning song, which if you know Sleep Token, if you know the summoning, like you are my people, but that's like a long ass song. So I was pretty proud of myself. Now, overall, I mean, this is an expensive tub costing $6,000, but when we compare it to other tubs out there, like it's not as crazy. One that I would compare it to just in terms of its design is the Ice Barrel. Now the Ice Barrel does not come with a chiller and it's still costing somewhere between like $1,200 to $1,400. They also came out with a new design that's costing closer to $1,500. Another tub that's a vertical design is from Polar Monkey and that does come with a chiller. It's the Star Treatment 2.0 and that's a little bit more comparable cost, costing a little bit more than $5,000. But the one thing that I think makes the Nordic Wave stand out over something like the Polar Monkey Star Treatment 2.0 is the fact that you can fully submerge your body. So with the Star Treatment 2.0, it actually has a ledge, which you might think, oh, that's really nice. And it is convenient to be able to sit down. But even me at 5'4", wasn't fully able to submerge up to my shoulders, which is something that I really like to do as I'm using a cold tub. So with the Nordic Wave, I am fully able to submerge my body, but not just me at 5'4", taller users have been able to do that as well. One thing to mention is with vertical tub designs, if you have any sort of mobility issues, this might be something to look out for. It is a little bit more difficult to climb into the tub. Obviously you use steps behind me. You kind of have to hoist yourself up. So if that's something that makes you uncomfortable, you're not so certain about your mobility or your strength climbing into a tub, I would definitely go with more like a bathtub design. With this chiller, it can get as low as 38 degrees and it holds 95 gallons of water. So this is pretty heavy. Now this is an outdoor tub and they do have a spout on the bottom, which I really appreciate if you are somebody who wants to clean it frequently and they do recommend it draining it and cleaning it every couple of months or so, but it makes it super easy to drain it with that spout on the bottom, but it does come with a really nice filtration system as well. But in terms of outdoor use, if you're setting this on a backdoor patio, I mean, this is like 800 plus pounds. It has 95 gallons of water. I don't know if it's 800 plus pounds. That sounds about right. I read it somewhere, but I mean, it is super heavy, right? Like you're probably gonna want some like structural engineer to come out, give you the okay before you load this up on your 2000s built like backyard deck and have it come crashing down. On the website, it claims that this chiller goes through cutting edge ozone therapy and it also has an advanced filtration system. While I don't fully know exactly what that means, one thing I can compare it to is we have a lot of cold tubs that a lot of people get in and out of on a regular basis for testing, for photos, whatever it is. And this one remains clean, okay? Whereas some of the other ones, guys, 
they get real gross, okay? So like the fact that this one has remained clean, I feel like the filtration is doing something. The warranty on this is five years on the tub, two years on the chiller. That is pretty comparable to what we see with most other cold tubs in the price point. Another thing I really like about this is it's actually like pretty portable when it comes to cold tubs. It only weighs 55 pounds when you don't have any water in it. So the fact that one person or two at the most can easily move it around from place to place, I think is a real positive. Now, one call out that I do have, I mean, this is so minor, but I do wish that it had some sort of app that you can control the temperature remotely. I know there's a lot of times where maybe we're not using it for a week, so we set it up to keep the electricity bill like lower. Like we don't wanna be paying to chill it at all times, but maybe you're out of town and you're coming back. I do wish that you could remotely change the temperature, but again, that is like such a minor detail. And overall, I think this is a great tub. Now, one thing to say about this, now this is kind of a call out, but also I think improved upon. So with our ice barrel, we actually have a lid, but it is not a heavy duty lid. And so if a kid were to fall into that, it'd be a really hard time for that kid to kind of like fully turn around and get out of the vertical design. With this, that's kind of the same issue. However, this lid behind me is actually pretty heavy so I don't think you're gonna have as much issue but I would say if you do have little adventurous curious kids there's not any sort of locking mechanism to keep the lid on the barrel so I would definitely make sure you have it in a safe place and maybe kind of finagle or DIY your own lock system to make sure that nobody's getting in unless they want to. The exterior of this is roto molded plastic which is used for creating like pallets or industrial crates and bins super durable and again will last you a very long time outside the other thing that goes along with a plastic like this is it's super easy to clean overall i think this is a great tub i mean there's not a lot of negatives that i have to it my only real call is if you have mobility issues or if you don't have a structurally sound place to set it maybe steer clear but for everybody else I, this is probably one of my favorite tubs that i've ever tested i'm actually begging to take it home in exchange for the ice barrel i have so we'll keep you posted if i get my dream and actually get to take this bad boy home. But overall, if you have this tub, if you test it out, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. This has been Lindsay with Garage Gym Reviews.